welcome to the premiere episode of The Friendship Stop. We are your hosts for today's show. I'm Manny. And I'm Caden. In today's show, we want to highlight the students and the work of our audio video production class at Friendship High School. So let's get things started with a look at some project we have completed over the course of this semester. Oh dang, I'm really hungry. I'll get some snacks. Oh dang, I don't have any money. Do you have any money? I have no money right now. You have no money? I swear to God. I'm hungry. Too bad. You have no money? Too bad. Please. Please. Yes. Can I have some? Not on me. I don't have money on me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Do you have any money? Oh, no. No. Y'all can't trade. You I'm don't? Broke. I'm like, I'm hungry. Broke. Do you have any money? No, I'm broke. No. I'm broke, dude. I am broke. Uh, money. I know how to steal stuff. <laughs> Show me. This is simple. I saw my brother do this. See, you get a bunch of men, and they pick the thing up, and they shake the crap out of it, and then all of this falls down. Oh. Uh, Sounds too hard. That's too bad. I guess I'll be hungry forever. All right, son. We're here. Hope you have a good day at school. Do I have to go? Yes, you need to go. Bye. Bye. Picking me up after school, right? No, you're walking home. You want your side to be dirty while you're taking a photo shoot? It's not dirty yet. The only dirty thing here is you. What do you think you. I'm doing? What do you think is cl clean fall? Think Jesus came down to clean it? No! No, I don't think so, but you usually clean at the end of the day. It is nearly not yet the end of the day. You know what I know something? I'm just doing what I paid to do. Well, you can go do what you're doing. You know what? If you would just let me do my job. I do let you do your job. I pay you just to do your job. And you don't have to do you it don't just pay yet. You I call you whenever I need you. Nah, I'm not your servant. It appears you are since you are sweeping my floor. This ain't no floor. Yes, it is. This is my facility. This ain't a facility. You're a model here. Exactly. This is a, this is a, a production shoot. I am the face up. of this company, sir. The face of my face. I can, I can fire you whenever You're going to have a face of my fist if you don't watch yourself. You need to leave because you are lowering the cost of this facility as the more you walk around. The property value is just going down every time you step. Good day. Enseño Español 2 y Español 3 honors. Totalmente llevo 14 años enseñando Español, pero enseñé 8 años en la middle school. Y llevo dos años aquí en la high school enseñando uh, el español avanzado. Uh, me encanta enseñar, total, uh, al, prin al principio me encanta. Um, es mi pasión, pero me gusta enseñarles a la gente que hay mucho más que no más 
que el, lo que ven. Hay más riquezas en la cultura de los dos países hispanohablantes. Y como gente nos da orgullo que quieren aprender de nosotros y es por eso que me da, me da mucha, um, ¿cómo se dice? Me animo mucho en enseñar el idioma. Paso mucho tiempo con mi familia. Uh, juntos vamos al cine o vamos a comer en un restaurante, pero en total es siempre estar con, los, con mis hijos. Um, cocinar juntos, nos, en, en casa nos gusta cocinar juntos o ver la tele. Uh, también jugamos mucho entre nosotros, uh, somos muy bromistas, pero fuera de casa, como dije, ir de compras, ir al cine, ir um, nomás a, a, al paseo. That's some excellent work done by our AV1 students. Next up, throughout the semester, we learn how to find, develop, capture, and edit feature stories, and we want to show them off. So let's start with an in-depth look at what happens in the Friendship High School culinary class. So culinary class is just teaching students the basics of um, culinary and cooking skills. They learn knife skills, baking, um, frying skills, um, anything that you can think of when you think of culinary, I teach that in this class. And what I teach in class really comes back to the outside world because we do internships when they get to the practicum level. So everything they have learned in the first like three years prior it's all related back and when they're like, actually in the industry and they are at Three Dogs Bakery or at Tumbleweed and Sage Coffee Shop and they're doing their internships and they're like learning how to deal with customers and like how to be like safe in a kitchen and uh, the proper sanitation in the kitchen. So that's how it comes out. It's watching the kids grow from day one to the last day of school. Um, they come in all intimidated and they're not sure what to expect of the class and it's just seeing their confidence grow um, throughout the year and just seeing like how much they improve over a year or two. Um, my favorite project is the Carnival Lab. We actually just did that last week. Um, they build carnival booths and then they make carnival foods go along. We have um, labs almost every day. We have catering events. We have United Supermarkets coming to do demos. Um, they have five different um, departments coming and doing demos for all the kids. And so yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. I decided to have because I love to cook. Uh, but we learned um, how to use a stove, how to use the oven, how to Do you ever wonder what a PE class is like? Looking for a way to be more athletic or physical? Well, in this next story, we'll take a look at what it's like in Ms. Sandra Cox's PE course here at Friendship High School. My name's Coach Sandra Cox. I teach PE here at Friendship High School, and I've taught here for 20 years. I coach and teach PE due to the fact that I love physical activity and I know that athletics is not for everyone and that I wanted to make it an impact for those that did not do another sport um, and that they can maybe find an activity that they would love to do outside of school time. I went to Kansas State University for a physical education degree and an adapted PE degree. Um. And I also ran track for Kansas State University. To be a D1 athlete, it takes a lot of perseverance, a lot of hard work and dedication on and off, whether it's the court, the track, a lot of determination, a lot of believing in yourself, um, and a lot of sacrificing free time. Because when you're a Division I athlete, you don't have free time. You're literally studying, and you're either playing, or like what I did, you're running. 
I think it made me a lot more disciplined. It gave me something to look forward to, helped me keep my grades up, kept me out of trouble, um, and just kept me physically active. I, running was always a great stress reliever and still is for me. Go Wildcats. We're going to take a quick break to a new talk show brought to you by some of our AV1 students. Here's the first edition of the Blue and Gold discussion panel. Today's topic of the show is going to be about the school's lunch. Welcome to the premiere episode of the Blue and Gold discussion panel. In this pilot episode of the show, we're going to be discussing the matter of the school's lunch period. And to start us off on that topic, the lunch lines. They're simply too long. There's not enough time to get through them, and they're stretching all the way back. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's too much. Yeah. Um, I get into the lunch and it's like all the way from the front of the cafeteria to the back. It looks like a whole Black Friday, uh, well, the, the lines in front of the like Target, lines. like at Black Friday and you yeah. just wait forever and it, it's, it's really bad. Like, like <laughs> it, it could make it better. Mm -hmm. um, like I'm coming up all the way from upstairs and it takes me way too long to get to the lunch. And by then, you got no time. I mean, does it get Lunch worse lines for are any too long. guys on like blue or gold days? It's way worse for me. Oh on yeah, gold both days. It, it gold days, it is so much worse because yeah, I have right. to come from the science. On blue days, it's not that bad because I'm like right next to it. I'm in the math hallway, mm -hmm. but I mean, there's just not enough time even still. And just because on a blue day I don't have to deal with it, doesn't mean anybody else doesn't have to deal with it. I mean, like I'm getting out of the line on blue days, and I can see it. It's already stretched down there. Yeah. It took me two mm -hmm. minutes to get in and out, but it's like. It's taking them 20. Yeah, it's like a whole 20 minutes to get your food, and then you got like five minutes to eat whenever you finally sit down. And then, mm -hmm. and then the, the tables, I know I've heard y'all talk about the tables. Y'all don't really, y'all aren't very fond of them. No. No, no, no. We're no, too no. big, the, man. We too yeah. big. Like, I'm a big dude. I need my space. Exactly. I got big thighs. I'm six foot, and I can't fit in the table. Bro. Like, I can't. Mm -hmm. We come up to the tables, that we're taking sucks. up most of the space. It's like me and Jarrell, one table, that's it. Yeah, like, I'm cramped up, you know, I'm like. You'd be lucky if you could squeeze me in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're sitting on top of the table. I mean, even if you want to move <laughs> the table, it feels like the wheels on all of them are just stuck. So when you try and move it, you're just sitting there struggling, just trying to push just it out of the way. Those boots, yeah. they'd be hitting your knees on They're them. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. never once sat in one of those booths and said, mm, this is cozy. No, no. <laughs> no. And then, like, again, on the lunch lines, the people that go up and they buy, like, 20 different things, or they're with their best friend and they don't buy anything from that line and they go and do another line. They're just there wasting the line space, basically. Yeah. yeah. And then the and people who cut as well. The people oh, who yeah. cut. Don't. Diabol diabolical, man. <laughs> diabolical. And you see the lines, and then there's this giant circle of about 20 people there, and you don't know who's where, so you're just standing there kind of wondering what's going yeah. on. Yeah. And then they like file in, like funnel into this one neat line, <laughs> one and line. you stand there for like the yeah, next. It 10 always, minutes, it feels like they always funnel in front of you. You just can't get in there. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they could, they could make them better if they like, fixed, the like if they put all the the meals or like like for example burgers in like each line to make it faster so people can go in and out and get what they want because each choice is in each line and you don't have to wait there in one line for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, what I think what would really help is an express line where it's already <laughs> stuff that's made. I mean, I know we have one, but there's no one ever running it. Right. And there's nothing ever there. And so like, if we were to like put that back up and then just up and leave, like that would solve so much time. I know that's like essentially what you said, but even if it's not like all lines are the same, having an express line where someone can say, ooh, I want a sandwich today, or ooh, I want, you know, this. Or like, like a like a snack line, so people don't have to wait in line just for snacks, mm -hmm. and they could, like we have that that bar over there in that like that little commons area. That could be like the whole snack line. People yeah. could go yeah. there, and you don't have to waste time in that other line waiting for people to get their food. Yeah, mm -hmm. for someone who, like me, I'm, I'm not. I'm just gonna say it. I'm broke. I ain't got money. I ain't gonna buy all that. All them snacks. I don't want to sit here and watch you buy it. One, because then I ha I can't even eat my food. And two, then I just feel bad. Like yeah. I'm just like, man, I'm broke. <laughs> I mean, what's your reward for you know waiting through a 30-minute line? Anyways, what's the food that you get as a reward? Yeah, for it? like you get a dried four chicken hockey. nuggets. Yeah, like you get yeah. a dried hockey. I do two workouts every morning, and I'm getting like four grams of protein here. Yeah, we need more protein. Yeah, we got no food. Protein. Give me them carbs. How am I supposed to build yeah. muscle? Mm, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken milk. 
Colonel no, we need more than five chicken nuggets or whatever much it is. I need a 20 piece chicken nugget. Yeah, okay. like, I need 20. Like, and this is just Pepe, but them juice boxes gotta be bigger. <laughs> like, they gotta be <laughs> way bigger. Boxes. We're getting yeah. like tiny juice boxes and they like this sell, big. Like, the like, little, like bottles for like five dollars a bottle. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, no like, it's too much. It's too expensive. I wonder why and water yeah. isn't free, by the way. Can you yeah, see that? It's like three bucks free? for a water bottle. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why I bring my own water bottle to school. <laughs> See, you are you fancy? Yeah. You got money though. Mo We're not that fortunate. Uh, here. Anyways, um, <laughs> I got money for no metal water bottle, plastic. Paper and you don't have to waste three dollars at the lunch line for. That's why I'm not just paying three dollars at the lunch line. Or just get a water bottle for three dollars and then refill it every day. Yeah, but then the plastic gets like super like weak and then you're and saying, it starts smelling too. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's. <laughs> okay, but like, again with the tables and the lines coming into them, again, back to the lines. The lines is really just a big thing. Honestly, mm -hmm. if they just gave us more time. Yeah. We just need more time. Yeah, I think, I think that would actually solve everything. But unfortunately, it looks like we're all out of time for this episode of, of the Blue and Gold Discussion Panel. Be sure to tune in next time. And until then, thank you for watching. And now, back to our hosts. That was one interesting discussion brought to you by our Blue and Gold Discussion Panel. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our show. If you like our show, be sure to follow us on the web at friendship.tv and Facebook. We hope to see you next time on this edition of the F-Stop. <laughs>